So here I present uh, high density CMOS based microelectrode array system with impedance spectroscopy for image, imaging of uh, biological cells. So the, the basic principle of impedance spectroscopy, as you can see here, um, we apply some kind of sinusoidal wave at a particular frequency to a reference electrode and we can sense um, the, the corresponding current from a working electrode using an impedance sensor which we integrated uh, on chip. So the current is basically proportional to the, the cells sitting on top of these electrodes. So this can be modeled uh, using resistors and serial capacitors, capacitance, uh, the, the electrolyte, the cell electrode interface. So change in these impedances uh, when the cell sitting on top of the electrode uh, depends on the, the position or the size or the attachment. You can see the, the impedances when we do the spectroscopy. So there are many applications uh, for this impedance spectroscopy in biological domain. Uh, it could be like cell location or like attachment of the cell uh, on top of the electrode. You can detect through uh, frequency sweeping. In this case, it's the cell density. Also, it's recently it's it has been very useful for drug screening and development. <coughs> As you can see here, it's a uh, it's continuous measurement of impedances uh, of um, cardiac cells uh, for a long time, and you can see the the cell attachment and also the effect of drugs over many days. The main main advantages of this impedance uh, uh, sensor is it's label free, it's non-invasive, and it's real time detection. So in these uh, applications, mainly um, the 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 spatial resolution is kind of limited in the previous work. So we are more concentrating on the density integration of impedance sensors on the chip. So here, uh, in our case, we integrated around 60,000 electrodes on a CMOS-based micro electrode array with the, the pitch of 13.5 micrometers. So um, there are impedance measurements, 32 of impedance measurement integrated on chip, and 2048 electrophysiology channels also integrated on the same chip. Uh, these, these channels can be connected to any of these electrodes um, arbitrarily through an analog pitch matrix configuration developed in our lab. There is also a digital controller which enables the bidirectional communication uh, from the PC to the chip. So the basic measurement that uh, the method that we use for impedance measurement uh, is the, the locking principle uh, where we apply a sinusoidal voltage to the reference electrode, sense the current uh, depends on the cell uh, impedance. This converts uh, this transfer in amplifier converts its uh, current to voltage. This voltage is multiplied by um, I and Q uh, quadrature signals, and from this from these two channels, we can measure the impedance on the the, the phase and magnitude and phase of these impedances. So, 32 of these locking amplifiers are integrated on chip, and also there is an integrated waveform generator which generates the frequency from uh, one hertz to one megahertz, which is applied to a reference electrode around the micro electrode. Um, so the, the the voltage is converted using um, sigma delta converter integrated on chip, um, uh, and there is high speed data acquisition card from National Instrument, which uh, sends the data to the PC and the lab program for visualization. There is also a command center program. Which uh, use the serial prog uh, serial parallel interface uh, to communicate uh, to the chip with the external world. So the chip is uh, fabricated uh, in 0.18 micrometer standard CMOS technology, and uh, the electrodes are, uh, are shown here. It's pro processed um, with the platinum platinum metal. So the electrophysiology channels are placed on the top and bottom side of the array. The impedance channels are placed in the left and right side of the, of the chip. So this chip is uh, packaged into a special um, PCB and uh, epoxy ring where you can uh, where you can culture the the, the bio tissues or the, the neuron cells on top of it 
as you can uh, as you can show here this is the neurons sitting on top of these tiny electrons um, so to validate the method um, we try to measure uh, an equivalent circuit at the, at the electron and uh, the theoretical and practical measurements for, for uh, uh, basically four of the same at the high frequency because of the parasitic experience and for real measurements, uh, we made uh, four different kinds of uh, electrolytes, and we measured the impedances. And as you can see here, the smaller electrode has uh, higher impedances, um, but it follows all of the electrode follows this um, one layer follows the capacity, the dominance of its double layer capacitances, and also we get the phase frequency uh, uh, to the capacity behavior. At high frequency, it's uh, mainly dominated by the CDF, CDF uh, resistance and the phase of the So um, um, we can uh, we can fit this uh, the, the data with the model, and we can extract the um, equivalent resistance and capacitance from um, from this data. Uh, so as you can see here, the equivalent in the, uh, the resistance is very high in the zone range. This can make um, very large uh, uh, thermal noise, so this can affect uh, the bio measurements of the system. So we uh, use the platinum black uh, deposition, electrochemical deposition, uh, then which which decreases the impedance of the electrode substantially by like 30 to 40 times, um, which substantially reduces the noise, so which is suitable for uh, uh, bio measurement. So this, uh, this this is the electrode array, so we can place um, the cells, uh, for example here we place um, uh, embryonic, uh, embryonic cells, like embryonic stem cells from that um, and put on top of this electrode array, then it's uh, aggregated to form a tissue. So with the right condition this tissue can be differentiated into a cardiac cells. So first we measure uh, using impedance. We can see the cell position and uh, the cell attachment in both uh, the magnitude and the, the phase of the impedance. Thing. And um, if it's if it's properly attached on top of the array, uh, then after five days we can see the activation. We can see the beating of this, of these cardiac cells. So so since we have both uh, impedance and also the electrophysiology recording on the same platform, we can. We can see the cell position attachment and also the electrical activity of the cell. For a high density um, uh, impedance imaging or electrophysiology, we place um, a cerebral slice from a mouse brain and it's a slice of a brain put on top of the electrode array, and we can record the electrophysiology activity over a long time. Uh, and this shows the, the physiology activity, the, the, the frequency of the, uh, the action potential over, over, over a certain time. And we can also measure the impedance uh, on the same array, on the same time. And this shows the, the, the magnitude and the, the phase of the impedances. So, um, uh, this this shows the, the, the photograph and the electrophysiology and impedances, and you can see three distinct structure from the cerebral slices. For example, the white matter, uh, which has a lower impedance and there is no electrical activity, and the granular layer has a very high um, impedance, very uh, thick uh, tissue or cells, and you can see that uh, the that layer through the impedance measurement. And uh, the outer layer around the granular layer is the put the neuron, and that is that makes a lot of electrophysiology activity that you can see uh, through the uh, through the electrophysiology measurement. So in the same platform, we can measure both uh, electrophysiology and impedances, uh, and we can we can do uh, this more like a network level measurement of this uh, cell tissues or um, um, like a neuronal network in a, in, a, in a single platform with very high spatial density. Uh, so with that, uh, I conclude my talk. Uh, I shown, uh, here I've shown a high density 
micro uh, multifunction MEA with uh, around 60,000 electrodes with uh, the state of the art pitch. Um, there is 32 impedance and 2048 electrodes. Here all these channels indicate on the same chip. And the characterization of uh, electrodes are shown with a frequency range from 1 hertz to 1 megahertz. And we also shown um, impedance imaging and electrophysiology of uh, cardiac tissues and brain slices. Um, this can be helpful for ma mainly for some drug uh, research or some basic fundamental research of the, the tissues or cellular network. So uh, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues and uh, thank my funding agencies. Thanks a lot. Yeah.